My motto in life would probably do what must and come what may. Because, you know, you have to do what you have to do to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. And whatever will happen after it, it is what it is. Well, growing up, I don't know, if I start from the beginning, uh, when I was younger, when I was in grade school, I had this huge appreciation and love for animals. So actually, I wanted to be a vet student. And when I was in high school, I wanted to be a nursing student. But when I was in college, I was greatly influenced by my dad's work and how he made a great influence in my life. And his major was biotechnology. And, his, and then he suggested it to me. We have this offering in the university. And of course, as a high school student, I didn't know what was good for me. And so when I took up the course after finishing a year, it kind of grew in me. and. I grew fond of it, and I really liked it. To be honest, I didn't know if I would be able to get it for Latin, with a Latin honor, but I wanted to get it with a Latin honor ever since. Because, you know, when your parents graduate with Latin honors, they kind of set that standards for you, uh, for their children to grow up with the same kind of intellect. So, growing up, I really strived hard for it, and I would say that family is a great influence. How you see them excel in their respective fields and you kind of put this, it's not like a pressure, like a really strong pressure in you, but you kind of instill in you this sort of feeling that you need to do well because at the end of it your family won't be there for you like all the time and at one point you need to get out of that nest and you need to strive for your own. When you set a goal for yourself, a career path for yourself, you need to really do your best and focus. And you know that apart from having fun, you, you have responsibilities and you need to focus on achieving your goals at the end of it. Nay mga subjects good pod nga listed good pod nga. You would think that, gosh, how would I do this? And when will this be over? When will the studying be over? Especially if ang imong subject is demanding of memorization, my things. Uh, at the end of it, you have to stop and you really need to pray and ask guidance good and you need to keep your faith strong to be your greatest weapon. VSU, it really has this warm feeling that it gives you and it's really this family that you grow up in. When you go to a distant place, it makes you want to come back home. I just recently applied for med school, so it's really been a dream of mine and of my family, my parents most, for me to go into medicine. Being a people person, I would want to touch people's lives on a more personal note and be there and to get out of your comfort zone and be able to witness such a humbling setting. If I could tell my younger self, I don't know, I'm always emotional. Oh God. I would tell her that it gets better and that life is good. <laughs> Shucks, yeah. I got more than what I prayed for, that's for sure. We have our own timelines and that if right now you're not where you want to be, maybe you're not just ready for it or if you're taking I don't know, a board exam and you failed at it. Maybe you're just not ready for it yet and everything happens for a reason and we just have to try our best. Again, do what must and come what may so you don't have any regrets at the end of it.